Evening everyone, this is uh, DM Bloodworth, and uh, this is a, another video of a Tier 6 expedition. This one is called the Eternal Battle, uh, which I haven't videoed yet, so you can see something a little bit different. This is probably the one with the most interesting boss battle. Once again, I'm going with my uh, my DPS build. This is my spear build. Uh, same setup as my last video. Um, Now, I've got to be on my game because all these guys are in the same guild.
hell? I didn't even walk up that way. So far, so good. Much better to be in a group that kind of moves kind of slow and steady and, you know, no one really rushing to, you know, aggro everything on the board. Just taking it one, one area at a time. Waiting on anything or
and there it goes. The mini boss. Actually, a pretty good group. They know what they're doing. <laughs> That's one thing you gotta worry about with this guy. Occasionally throw you into other groups. You really don't want to aggro more than one group at a time here. Down. Every time this guy pulls, he uh, generates another skeleton. So it's kind of important to take him out.
not much to talk about when everybody kind of knows what they're doing. We're just waiting on Light Send. Light Send is our leader and our tank. The banner I'm talking about is a royal banner. It kind of boosts your whole party's uh, recharge rate on their uh, on their abilities. Here's the boss area. First thing we do is get rid of all these little junk mobs. Yeah, we got the boss. You will not tell your mom. So the key here is to stay out of this red ring so you, he doesn't spawn too many uh, too many of those skeletons.
make sure you don't get caught in that cross. Cross a lot of damage. wrong. I'm wondering if we should have just concentrated on the boss and forget about the ads. Forget about running out of the circle. to focus on the skeletons I don't know if you're focusing on the skeletons then you're not hitting the boss What I've seen work is if the, if the tank goes behind the boss and just holds him there, everybody else runs in and out of that big circle, you get less adds. Once that uh, big boss starts roaming around, you're pretty much screwed. first before
set up the so no bunch of Gonna get him this time. Got him. Nice. That's actually a good group, so. Death becomes you a decent group to travel with. Let's see, so I made about 8,000 silver plus uh, in bonus. I filled up uh, about three and a half books, and those will fetch me about 12 to 1400 apiece. So I have a total of four books filled up now. You should have a repair bill of about 8,000. 6,000, not bad. And that was a pretty decent run. Uh, leveled up some things, so I leveled up my torch specialist. So I'll level up everything that I can. Woo. Let's see. Well, 40 doesn't really unlock anything, but... That pretty much looks across the board. I've leveled up all those skills. Following my regular routine, I go back and restock on gear. But anyway, that was a very good run. Uh, you know, not too shabby. Very good group to group up with. So I, if you end up in a group uh, predominantly by uh, Death Becomes You, then, uh, you know, I suggest that you treat them well and fight well together. All right, you'll have a good one. Uh, until next weekend.